My name is Mike Ruma. I'm a maternal fetal medicine specialist. I work at Perinatal Associates in New Mexico. And what we're going to talk about today is the Epic and Affinity ultrasound platforms, the latest release of software, which incorporates a variety of features. And we're going to use this tool that sculpts and removes the extraneous information that we have on the side, uterus and placenta, and that's called A-Reveal. And watch what A-Reveal will do to this volume. It helps illuminate and show the face off in a quick fashion without having to sculpt any information. True view is quite remarkable. You really get a true sense of what it would look like in absolute photorealistic fashion. The colorings, the shading, the tones are truly realistic. When we move to TrueView imaging, we have this pink hue that alone is simply coloring. But as you can see, what I, I've done here is I brought the light actually within the left ventricle using the depth capacity, which is unique to TrueView, and allows the light to enter along a z-axis. And the light here in the left ventricle, as we've placed it there, allows us to see an illuminated left ventricle, the mitral valve, and what's very interesting to me is that the light actually penetrates into the left atrium, illuminates the top portion of the wall of the left atrium, but does not at all enter the right ventricle with no penetration through the ventricular septum, so that the light is actually acting as it really would if I put an orb of light within the actual cardiac volume. This personally helps me have a bit more confidence that there is no evidence of ventricular septal defect. And if there were, we would anticipate seeing light emanate into the right ventricle. So as we see glass view, and we move into glass view analysis from true view. I think of glass view as looking at kind of a plaster of Paris poured into the cardiac volume and then removing the cardiac myocardium and being able to look into the chambers, the volume of the chambers, kind of in a translucent fashion. For me, what I can identify here is a left ventricle. I can see the aorta leaving the left ventricle, the right ventricle, and the pulmonary artery leaving. But what's particularly important in this imaging is that there should not be any fluid coursing across or any evidence of a chamber coursing across the intraventricular septum, and I actually do not see that, which I believe is a good thing, again helping us provide clinical confidence that this is an intact intraventricular septum and that this is a normal cardiac septum present in this volume. And that, to me, is one area in which Glassview can shine and provide some clinical confidence for you and your patient. TouchView is very interesting because instead of using rotational knobs to change the volume, you can simply use your hand. And not only can I rotationally use two fingers to move this in a Z plane like that, I can use a single finger to move the volume in an X as well as Y plane. And then we are going to bring up TouchView to be able to put the light and drag the light for the patient yourself around the volume in an intuitive fashion, just like any smartphone at home. You can double click and place the light in multiple different places. And you can also bring the depth of the light in to provide some unique shadows and illumination to the fetal face. I can also rotate the baby using 3D touch view. You can see how the shadows move in a realistic fashion in a very smooth and fluid fashion using touch view available on the Philips Epic and Affinity systems. We have the ability to use 3D Sculpt on the touchscreen interface. I'm going to select that. What this allows us to do is to use our digits, circle an area of interest that we'd like to remove, and within a moment's notice that's automatically removed. If you'd like to be even more detailed, you can use 3D Erase, also available. Choose here under Sculpt Type and 3D Erase becomes available. We can do this with the roller ball, but I find that using your finger is quite easy and we can simply begin to erase and clean up and make a very beautiful fetal head. Also within 
this suite of new tools is the ability to zoom the image using pinch zoom and the ability to make the image smaller using pinch zoom as well. In contrast to the traditional MPR mechanisms of manipulating a stick volume data set, this latest feature available on Philips software release is called MPR Touch. And I'd like to deploy MPR Touch by touching the touch screen. And you can see now on the display panel and the touch screen, all of your multiplanar regions, as well as the 3D surface rendered imaging. Instead of using the trackball and the left and right select key, I'm simply going to interact with a single digit and place the region of interest within the crux of the heart. By tapping individual images, I can select the MPR that I would like to manipulate. I've placed the crosshairs within the crux of the heart. I'm gonna to move to this longitudinal image and I can uh, select either one of these region of interest edges. I'd like to select this one and slice into the longitudinal volume, creating a very nice 4D rendered image of the heart. I can also double click the 3D volume and this helps deploy now not only NPR touch capacity, but also the ability to use all of the aspects of touch view. As I approached NPR touch for the first time in early evaluations, I felt comfortable with it. The same principles that I needed to do with the trackball, I was more easily able to accomplish with NPR touch and simply touching the, the touch screen interface on the Epic or Affinity, moving the ROI to where you wanted, slicing into the longitudinal chambers in the heart, and achieving that surface rendering of, say, a stick data set. So in my mind, in my personal experience with the NPR Touch as an option on Epic and Affinity, I found it very favorable and very easy to use and markedly more intuitive than the traditional NPR method of using the trackball and left and right select keys. Philips has provided us with tools that were incredibly useful, faster. We are seeing an evolution of ultrasound, which is truly remarkable. The advances are truly useful. They are helping us with efficiency. They're helping us with detailed image quality and providing the patient an incredibly enriched 3D volumetric experience. And I can't wait to see what the future is gonna hold.